Five minutes of uh, questions and answers. Uh, Mr. Algabra, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Commissioner Zakidelli, thank you for coming here. Uh, I want to try to summarize what's going on briefly. Uh, Commissioner O'Connor's report comes out September 18th, describing a massive failure and uh, violation of RCFP protocols in conveying information, uh, false information to the American uh, uh, law agencies. Uh, Canadians were eagerly waiting to hear from you. It took uh, 10 days for you to come on this committee to uh, give us your reaction. Uh, at the time, it was very clear, not imprecise, not impression, it was very clear that you said you had uh, found out in 2002 about the mis, uh, uh, sharing misinformation with the Americans and that you tried to correct it and that you shared it with the ministers at the time. Also, uh, in between, I should mention, between 18th and the 28th, before your arrival to this committee, uh, Minister Day was firm in his uh, uh, support uh, of uh, uh, your uh, office. And in fact, at the time, at initially, there were reports that the PMO were, was not so confident at the time, and then they ev eventually converged and uh, stu stood together in supporting uh, what you have done and what you've said. After your testimony that you've reported, you've shared that information in 2002 with the ministers at the time, three ministers had come to this committee, former ministers, and told us that they were never informed by you. Then somehow, yesterday, you uh, gave a speech to the Economic Club about uh, clarifying these mistakes, which, by the way, I find very interesting because at the time of the 28th, you'd said the reason why you have not spoken to Canadians publicly because you thought this committee was the only proper forum to report to Canadians what, is the, what, is, uh, ha what you have done and what you haven't done and what your responsibilities are. Yet, yesterday, you chose to make those statements in front of the Economic Club instead of this committee. Having said that, Today you told us you were forthcoming about meetings with Minister Day, even though it took a lot of effort out of this committee to get some type of description from you at the time if you had any political meetings or any meetings with Minister Day. Now today that you told us that you've met with Minister Day, could you please tell us when did you meet with Minister Day and who was present at the meeting? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for the <laughs> questions. Just on, on your last point, Yes, at the last uh, hearing on the 28th, I was not as forthcoming about explaining my meetings. The reason I, I couldn't do that is because I hadn't spoken to Minister Day and I thought it was proper to ask permission and talk to him about whether I could, uh, I could give evidence or speak about those discussions. That's why I didn't do it then. Since the 28th, I talked to Minister Day, and he said, yes, go ahead and explain that. So I will, I oh, will so explain. Oh, so that's an interesting point. So you're, you're, you are admitting that Minister Day had some influence on how you political t testify political interference. And, 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 and how your statement should be. That's no, a, no, it's a, it's, it's no, a very no. relevant point, and I'm glad you clarified it. Go on. Please, well, no. can you answer my question, please? Well, uh, who is, uh, who, I, I have very limited time, so I apologize. I want, a, I want an answer to this question. Who... What did you discuss with Minister Day between the 18th and the 28th, and who was present in the meeting? Please, those are the answers that I'm looking for. Well, uh, the, uh, I, Commissioner I have to answer. clarify this point okay. because there was no influence. I simply asked the minister, would he agree mm -hmm. to me uh, relating personal discussions that he and I had to this committee. I think that was the proper way to do it. It would be improper for me to relay discussions that took place between me and the minister without his authority, without his permission, which I have done. As I said, I came back on the Wednesday afternoon. On the Thursday morning, I learned that this committee might be sitting. I then write a letter to the minister that same day indicating that I want, I'm anxious to uh, appear to respond to the, to the issue. The very next day, I meet with the minister. We discuss the matter. It's during this discussion that we find out that the committee is sitting on the Tuesday following. And we didn't, said didn't this the is the didn't, didn't the committee compel you to come and testify? Not at that point yet. We heard about it, but we had said, we had said very clearly the proper place to discuss, the first place to discuss this very important issue was before this committee. And that's why I took so much uh, criticism from the press, because I didn't go out right away to speak to the press. I purposely held back so that this would be the first place that I spoke at. And as it turns out, I wish I'd actually had more time, given that I didn't fully grasp all the implications of the details of this, in, of this 
this uh, Sir, this report. who was present at the meeting when you met with Minister Day? Yeah. Mr. Day was present and the de his deputy minister. Were there any notes or, uh, or briefing sure, notes no, that uh, were shared at the time that you can share with this committee? No, there, there were no briefing notes uh, that, that were taken. It was a very simple, short, short discussion. The committee is meeting. We both agreed that this was the best place to do it, and that's why we, we set out to, to come here. But on Tuesday, you didn't sit because the committee had some meetings, and it was put off till the Thursday. That's the 28th. Much, uh, Mr. Menard, five minutes. 